Good morning, and thank you for joining us today for our Memorial Day tribute. Each year, the Tuckahoe Union Free School District honors and pays tribute to the men and women who made the supreme sacrifice for our country. This year, our virtual Memorial Day commemoration program is virtual. Under the leadership of school administration, teachers, and with our students, we remember the soldiers who risked their lives our veterans for their service, and additionally, this year has special significance as we honor our first responders, healthcare workers, and essential workers as they ensure our country remains safe during these unprecedented times. On Memorial Day, we come together to honor more than one million men and women who lost their lives defending our country. And to our essential workers, our veterans, and those who lost their life, it is a reminder of the bravery, respect, gratitude, sacrifice, and commitment that it takes to serve one's country. It's a day to remember all of our heroes. We take a moment from everything we do to look up to these people who risk their life for us and pay tribute to them for their service and sacrifice, to learn from the honor with which they serve. I thank you for joining us today as the entire Tuckahoe School District and all our students show gratitude. I will now turn the program over to our school government president. On behalf of the Tuckahoe student body, especially the class of 2020, we welcome you and thank you for joining us for this online event. I am honored to be speaking to you on this very important day. We are here to honor our service members and remember the sacrifices they have made. As Ms. Goodman mentioned, this year is made even more significant by all the frontline workers who are making the extreme sacrifice for her own safety on a daily basis. This is happening right here in our own community of Tuckahoe, as well as in our great state of New York, in our country, and in our world. In light of current events, today we honor the heroes of yesterday and today, remembering and noting their achievements, courage, and their dedication. We say thank you to all of them for their sacrifice. Today's ceremony will highlight some of our own residents of Tuckahoe who gave their lives in World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. We will also be saluting all the frontline workers who are putting themselves in harm's way so we might stay safe from the virus causing so much disruption in our world. To all of our heroes who are with us online or with us in spirit, we thank you.
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With liberty and justice for all. With liberty and justice for us. Liberty and justice for all. God bless our flag.
Each year, the Tuckahoe School District holds an annual essay contest for students to have the opportunity to articulate why it's important to have a day to remember those men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives for our country. It is my pleasure to announce this year's winner for the essay contest. In second grade, from Ms. Volpe's class, Logan Bull. In fifth grade, from Ms. Vicario's class, Kaushambi Roy. Our middle school essay winner is Toby Poole, and our high school essay winner is Luke Arborn. Congratulations, and thank you to all the students who submitted essays for consideration this year. Thank you. Memorial Day to me is honoring those who served in our military. I am eight years old and I learned some things about past wars through my grandfather who was a Marine. This winter, I saw the true sacrifice it is to serve our country when I went to my neighbor Michael's going away party because he joined the Army Special Forces. I carefully watched him say goodbye to his family and friends and everyone was so sad and proud, especially his mom. He chose to give up his job and leave all his family and friends to keep America safe. Military members really are special. Hi, I'm Kashan Roy, and this is my Memorial Day essay. I will start it off with a quote. Our freedom did not come cheap, so make it count. Memorial Day is a day to honor those brave hearts who sacrificed their lives to defend our great nation and protect our freedom. It is a federal holiday to memorialize those men and women, no matter what race or color, who sacrifice themselves for their country. For me, Memorial Day doesn't mean taking a break. It truly means to say thank you. Memorial Day, an American holiday, is observed on the last Monday of May to commemorate the men and women who died in the military service of this country. This day is so special because it is the one day of the year when we think of those who lose a father, an uncle, a sister, a brother. The purpose of this day is not only to hoist the flag, but to preserve the memory of those veterans who made the ultimate sacrifice. We thank them for their service, for which we can have a peaceful life and luxury of freedom. What is the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? On Memorial Day, you only honor those who died in service. On Veterans Day, you honor all veterans. Traditionally, people visit cemeteries and memorials on, the memo on Memorial Day. It is also called Decoration Day sometimes, since you decorate the graveyards. Memorial Day has a long history going back to before World War I. It is a day to honor all veterans who died in any war. Unfortunately, the specific origin of Memorial Day is unclear. All we know is that a small holiday meant to decorate graves became expanded to honor those who died in all wars. We should think we should thank those who lost their family members in wars and consider how to support the grieving families. Thank you. These veterans cannot hear my thank you, read my card, or use my gift, but I owe them so much. They died to protect their families, friends, and people they didn't even know, like me, as well as our right to be free. We should honor them by showing them respect for what they have given us to save us and our country. We must protect everything that they fought for by making sure their families have what they need, and that everybody always remembers the sacrifice they made. We must protect and use our freedom to keep our country and everybody in it safe. Thank you, veterans. When most of us look up at the sky, we see beautiful clouds floating in a sea of blue. But those skies are far from free to us without a hefty price. The United States military works tirelessly to protect their citizens each and every day. Through thick and thin, these brave, noble heroes sacrifice all they know for their nation. During a time like the one we are enduring now, families have never been closer than ever. Yet, for those enlisted, it is just the opposite. We must appreciate their sacrifices and efforts as they have made the courageous choice to put their lives or their fellow citizens before their own. 
To bring themselves away from their loved ones during a pandemic is truly an act of heroism that cannot be overlooked. Memorial Day is always a day to revere those who fight, yet this year I feel Memorial Day needs to be so much more. Oh 
Hi, I'm Jack Darty, president of the junior class at Tuckahoe High School. The junior class and the entire Tuckahoe Union Free District would like to dedicate this video to all essential and frontline workers of Tuckahoe and East Chester, New York for keeping our community safe. We appreciate all the hard work, dedication, and sacrifice that you have shown our community. We hope you continue to stay safe and thank you for everything. In closing, I'd like to thank the teachers, students, and staff who put this beautiful ceremony together, acknowledging those who made the ultimate sacrifice so we could be free on this Memorial Day weekend. The poem is from Alan Seeger, dedicated to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Here's the excerpt. Their graves in every town are garland that pious tribute should be given to, to our intrepid few. Obscurely fallen beyond the seas, those to preserve their country's greatness died. But by death of these, something that we can now look upon with pride has been achieved, not wholly unreplied. Again, thank you. Be safe this Memorial Day weekend. 
and be grateful for our beautiful country, and God bless America. Thank you. Who 